Hi, my name is Alexis Hernandez and I'm the Virtual Content Specialist for Social Studies Grades K-2 through Special Ed. This is going to be a student-facing video that will help first grade students that are working um, on the independent work portion of Unit 1, Lesson 6. This will help them tackle some modified independent work that I've created for them. So again, this is for first grade students. The students will be working on lesson six in unit one using um, a scaffolded independent work lesson that I've created for them, which will be attached to this video. Hi friends. So you guys have been working really hard on understanding your families, everybody's role in their family and the different things that families do together. And I know that your teacher has given you a really exciting independent work project. Your teacher has asked you to make a poster and that poster has to show what families do and the people in your family and something that they do together. So I know that sometimes it can be hard to think just off the top of your head what a family might do together and then build a whole poster about it. So let's take a few minutes to look at some images first and that will help us brainstorm what we might want to put on our poster. So I'm looking at this picture and I'm looking at the slide and seeing four different images of families. This family looks like they're reading together. Mm, families read together. This picture looks like the family's eating dinner together. Here it looks like maybe they're doing what? Yeah, maybe they're playing soccer together or they're outside or playing tag or maybe they're at a big park together because families do that a lot. And look at this image here. Oh, I want to do that. I want to go to a movie with my family too and have popcorn and lay back and be really, really excited about watching a new movie. So here's just a few examples of what some families do together. What do people in families do? Maybe they read together or eat meals together or play together or go to movies together. Those are some examples. So guess what? You're gonna make a poster that shows someone in your family with you doing something that you guys do together. And you'll see on the screen that I've made a little slide for you. And the slide says, what do people and families do? Draw the picture here. And then your teacher really wants you to also write about and explain what we see in that drawing. Again, this can sometimes be hard to do. So I've tried to help you out a little bit by giving you some sentence starters. After your drawing, we can fill in the blanks of our sentence starters. We can think, in this picture you see blank. I am blank with my blank. Or we like to blank together. What you're going to do is either copy this poster idea onto your own piece of paper or if you're making a digital poster you can copy and paste my slide and reuse it. Now I created my poster just on a whiteboard just so that I could model it for you and share with you what I did. Your poster might be on a big actual piece of poster board, which would be really cool, or maybe a piece of white paper or construction paper, but it's probably going to look something like my whiteboard does. At the top, it will say, what do people and families do? And then this big box here is where you get to draw something that you and your family do. Now, I know that in my family, with me and my husband and my son, Marco, we read a lot together. So I'm going to draw a little picture of us all reading. This is going to be me. And... I'm gonna have 
a nice big book in my hands. And right down here, this is gonna be baby Marco. And he loves to look at stories all the time and he loves to grab them. And sometimes he tries to rip the pages too. But in this picture, you can see that Marco and I are reading together because something that people and families do is read together. It's a leisure activity, a way to relax and spend time together. So once I've made my drawing, now I wanna fill in the blanks. Let's see. In this picture, you see me and Marco. And what are we doing? We're reading, reading. Trying my best to stretch out the words and write things the best that I can. If you're doing a digital poster, you can even use voice typing or you can um, try to just type the letters that you hear inside. The next sentence starter says, I am blank with my blank. What am I doing? I am reading with my baby. Your poster might say, I am playing with my sister. I am building with my dad, whatever your drawing might be. And then last but not least, we like to blank together. What do me and Marco like to do? We like to read together. Now, I have a drawing and my sentence starters match my picture. So I can explain what's in my drawing by reading these sentence starters out loud. So it is your turn now to make your own poster about what families do together. Think really hard about what you and your family might want to do or what you do together. If you can't think of something, look at some of the examples up here. And then when you're ready, you're going to either make a digital poster or grab a piece of construction paper or poster board and make a poster on that. Use this template up on the screen, just like I did with my whiteboard to finish up your work. I know your posters are going to look amazing when they're finished. Good luck.